What is going on, guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo, and we are taking another look at State of Decay, the amazing zombie open-world survival game that I found back at PAX Prime 2012, sort of my hidden gem of that show. Now, seven months later, PAX East, I got to play it again for about ten minutes, and holy crap, it's looking good. It's come a long ways. Uh, this demo focused on sort of the missions, the base, the, the menus and inventory, and kind of all the inner workings and systems that make State of Decay click. And man, the, the first thought I had after playing this demo was, if they could have secured the Walking Dead license, this game would be so freaking hyped. It'd be on the cover of magazines, it would be... It would just be everywhere, because it, it really is much more of a Walking Dead game than that crappy Survival Instincts first-person shooter is, because this is all about going out and figuring out how to survive. You have to build up your base, you acquire survivors, you got to allocate resources, figure out how you're going to create the most sustainable life for these people, and then go out on these crazy missions, killing zombies, driving all over the place. Um, there's gun combat, there's melee combat, there's switching characters, which is one of the most intriguing things, um, that you can go back and forth between different roles uh, for different missions, and I'm assuming um, different characters will sort of play a little bit differently, or if not play a little differently, maybe have different weapons or different health. I'm not entirely sure about that. They're kind of keeping a decent amount of it under wraps, including the release date. Um, they would not give me anything on when this game is coming out, but I have to imagine it's a Summer of Arcade title for Xbox Live Arcade. Um, it definitely is not a 720 game, and after the summer, Microsoft is probably going to focus exclusively on the next generation of consoles, or at least a majority of their efforts will go that direction. Um, so I... I firmly believe this will be probably the premier title for some of Arcade, and it's definitely deserving. As you can see, there's a lot going on in the menus, a lot going on in the world. Um, it feels like a, an, 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 you know, a downloadable game, but at the same time, it feels like a very polished and very upscale and very uh, worthwhile and dense one. Like, there's a lot going on in this world. Um, I really like the artistic style. I really like the whole, again, the base building thing I think is really cool and something that's going to set it apart. The fact that you go out and collect these resources, um, you know, you have different items that you can use for your character, for your base, for your party. Um, you're basically managing this small camp of survivors, which I, I haven't seen a zombie game really tackle that aspect. You know, we've had sort of the very story-driven zombie games dealing with emotion and, and, and protection. We've had a very aggressive, violent zombie games, but not one that is so incredibly based on um, managing and survival. And, and while it in some ways sounds sort of like a sim game with that, there definitely is a whole lot of action. As you can see, I'm tearing people apart <laughs> with this sword. There's gun combat as well, like I mentioned, and uh, it's just a whole lot of fun. Um, my only complaint I have is that, at least in the build I played, and granted, who knows how far along this is, or if this is the final version, or what's really going on with it, but um, uh, your attacks are limited to one sort of attack, and I don't know if there's eventually some combo system, or if a heavy strike, a light strike, or if different melee weapons will do different things for you, um, but when you face off against zombies and you have this sword and you're out of ammo like I was here, I'm basically just slashing away over and over again, um, but the, the world is very well created, and I can't I can't really let that complaint sour my experience um, because it's so cool to see just random zombies walking around. This mission had me going out to collect some medicine. And I'm trying to bring it back um, with these people, leading them back to the base, and sort of one of the first missions, you know, teaching you go out, gather resources, carry them back. It's you know you're slower when you have this backpack on. You can drive cars around. Definitely a little bit of a, a GTA slash do anything you want kind of feel. Um, and it just looks so good. I, I I really don't have enough good things to say about it, or too many good things to say about it, I guess, because it, it's, it feels unique, um, and it, it feels, fills that void of, hey, people like zombies, people like action in these kind of games, how can we do something a little bit different, just tweak the format and formula enough to make it interesting. Um, the menus are pretty extensive. You can see the list of characters there that I could, I could switch from. Um, the attitudes and stuff like that, they didn't really get into. I'm not sure how that's going to factor in, but there are stats for the guns and the melee weapons, so again, I'm just putting two and two together and imagining that maybe different characters are able to do different things or have some perks, or I, I, I really don't know. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It controls really well. I guess combat-wise, um, it's sort of similar to Dead Island slash Zombie U. I, I wish it was... Um, like I said, a little bit more varied in the combat combo system, but it seems like it's going to be a very, very extensive game. There's a lot to do. I think later on in the video I pull out the map, and, and you'll see that just like when I pull out the map in the PAX Prime video, man, they have built a lot here. Um, I like that you can crouch and, and walk kind of slowly. There's definitely like a, hey, you can be loud and proud and just bang these zombies to death, or you can, that sounded really weird, but with a car is what I meant, or you can be quiet and try to get around them. Um, it's definitely one of those things where the louder you are, the horde will come at you. I didn't really see many different zombie types. Um, 
in this demo. I'm assuming they're going to have to have more, I believe, I'm trying to recall back to my discussions with them at Seattle. Um, it's a pretty small development team. They, they do everything in-house, and it, you know they're, they're working really hard on the game, and it, it's coming along great. Um, but I remember them saying that there will be different types of enemies and, of course, uh, different different zombies that, you know, the big guys and the small guys and everything you expect. Um, there's armories, there's stores, there's places to buy things. They really kind of, again, it, it feels like a mini GTA um, with zombies and, you know, third-person melee gun combat. I'm trying to go and acquire some ammo here for my guns. I don't have any. Um, and it's cool because the zombies can come into the stores with you. There's never a safe moment. It sort of uh, keeps up with that kind of current philosophy of interfaces and inventory should not really keep you from experiencing the terror and fear of the game itself. Um, you'll see that I'm going through different items here. Uh, you can carry stuff. And I'm getting bit as I go do the menus. Proving my point clear that uh, <laughs> you are never safe. There's some strange poster on the wall. I don't know what that's about. Um... I didn't really get a sense if there's a big story, or if if not, if it's just you're dropped in this world, and hey, um, I don't think there's character creation. I think it's a preset group of survivors, so I'm imagining that maybe there is some sort of um, story or different things going on. Um, looking for ammo for my gun specifically, because obviously there's different ammo for different guns. Uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty complex, pretty complicated. Uh, I didn't get to see the actual placement of buildings back at the main base. Um, that was something I was looking forward to and, and something I think that will really sort of be the um, the marker for this game, that it will fall on one side or the other. It'll be a good game if that stuff doesn't pan out well, or it'll be a great game if that stuff does. Because I can see it being very interesting where, okay, you, you know, you build up this this, you know, garden and you're, you're making sure everyone's fed because there's constantly draining resources. Um, I got a sense that it's probably some food slash money system maybe um and if you can you know build stuff and then oh you can maybe craft new weapons or you can acquire new i know there's a repair shop where you can they'll be able to repair cars and, and things like that i think you could create a fun system where you go on these missions come back and you have something to do so it's not just suffering from that typical quest giver doldrums where you go and take a mission and then have to run all the way back and talk to the person and run out you know that's my current problem with games like gta and and Dead Island, and I'm looking for some developer to innovate on, which is how can you make that a little bit more interesting, a little bit more engaging than just go to point on map, talk to person, acquire quest, complete quest, return to point on map, talk to person. I mean, I know that's like, well, gosh, ghost, what else are you going to do? That's how it works. That's how it would work in the real world if you acquired a mission or took on a task from somebody. But it's just a little bit tedious, and there has to be some way to, to maintain the open world feel, um, but also introduce a... a, a more of a, of a seamless and smooth flow to the gameplay, so it's not just like leave point, return to point. I don't know. Branching missions, continuous missions, tiered missions, things like that could be one solution. Um, and frankly, I don't know exactly how Save Decay, Decay, handle, Save Decay, Save Decay handles uh, all the missions exactly. I was on this one, and it looked like you could uh, tackle multiple at a time, so I'm hoping you can do that and go out and and manage multiple things. I'm not sure if it's a quest giver system or if it's just your base decides you have different things you want to do or not want to do. These guys didn't want to ride in the car with me, so I was having a little bit of trouble urging them back to uh, base. Now this guy decides he's going to jump in. Somebody ran away, and now we can carry our bags a whole lot faster back to the home base. But I think this game is going to be really awesome. If you guys agree, hit that like button. Uh, definitely let me know if you want to see more as it comes closer to release and, I, as I assume, again, releases in summer of this year. I would assume this would be sort of one of their, if not their premier title um, for the summer arcade. There's another game, Ascend, um, that is not out yet as well that I saw back at E3. Um, that is sort of a, a very interesting god-based, combat-based game that I think will probably be summer arcade as well. Other than that, uh, this is pretty sweet. I'm excited to play it, and it definitely, definitely, uh, even if it's not associated with Walking Dead, it does that whole feel and, and mood and uh, sort of thematically does The Walking Dead better than that freaking Survival in 6 game. You'll see in the top corner I have all these resources. They're maxed out for the demo, I'm guessing. Um, but population, money, food, different things. I think it's going to be pretty fully featured. Pretty darn awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Until next time, guys and girls, a fantastic day. Big thanks to the developers at State of Decay for showing off their game once again. Looking real good. Can't wait to play. Hopefully you guys can reveal some more details soon. But until that time, everybody, we will see you all later.